I'll tell you everything you need to know. On a planet called Pandora, daring warriors called Vault Hunters scoured the borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the Vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic legions held the planet in an iron grip. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, a young orphaned explosives expert. She's a little... Uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy! Ah, there was a... There was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Tor, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lily, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, used her powers to manipulate and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the end, the damage was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do. But one little girl had some ideas for a story of her own. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said, roll for initiative, suckers! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate.
Lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge. A far cry from. Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Kind of smells like butts and dead people. They start shooting at you! What do we got here? Decisions, decisions.
get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon deployed. appears! Surprise attack! Ho oh, ho, I wanna smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! Hey, are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm, touche. Okay, everybody back up! Who's next, huh? I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? Mr. Bodie Van Sky! Does that work? This pleases me. Grind him up! Road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. Nine hundred. 
here tomorrow, the MPs will escort you to the brig where you will await your execution. As your commanding officer, I cannot officially suggest you go AWOL tonight and try your luck on the border port. Too bad. That would have been good advice. What's this? My wedding ring. You can see I never liked diamonds. Ouch. Enter the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. <laughs> A grand idea.
missing. Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again. Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. at your side. Bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. The lamp! Girl, looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, madam. Is something the matter? The queen is missing! She went into the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree of life to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, then. Whoop, time out. 
I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Tor! Tina! Put me in the game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Mr. Tor! Woo! Rafael! I had to say you So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case, you gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me! First task! Blow up the village's scouting glimpse with the fire weapon! Because... reasons! doesn't have a tavern. Hey, baby. I'm hung like a vault monster. So it's hard to find an ultimately disappointing? That's what she said. <laughs> Moxie, I'm surprised you're not bright orange because that body is 
Legendary. Hey, adventurer. It's closing time, but these idiots can't take a hint. Could you throw them out for me? Don't be afraid to get rough. Thanks, sugar. Oh, oh come on, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never say nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Yeah. Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! Don't let anything happen to you. I'm having fun. Well done! You're now badass enough to survive the forest! Our way. All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Davlin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall leave you inside and serve as a guide. Tranquility. Boring. Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Too Time to train.
Sentry deployed! On the one hand... Find a jewel on the ground. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that lead us right to her. Yeah, what Big Lily Style said. I Just stick to the main road you. and you'll be ace. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Maybe that kick in the ass. Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. Come and People get like me. ferns. You have to notice that.
we going? We're exploring. You may not want to do that. I only balance the combat on the main path and oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. How in the hell are we supposed to kill these things? Critical fails. Now you be careful, honey.
here. Follow me. I believe the queen went this way. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here!
Lovely! Let's see.